Hello to all my friends out there. So I need some bread to go with my salad. My kale salad. <laughs> I cannot believe it. But it only makes sense, you know. Uh, we have to be very careful about the food we ingest. You know, to make sure it's complete proteins, nutritious. Uh, let's see, there's virus, bacteria, toxins, um, overexertion past the biochemical limits, um, malnutrition. That That's pretty much what's going to kill us. Okay, so I'm if something kills us. Old age is going to kill us. Okay, so I want to make a loaf of bread. And I've been making this bread for years, so I can do it in my sleep. I'm making one loaf, so half a half a package. I have one half cup um, warm water. I put two and a half teaspoons yeast. And uh, let's see. I just, the way I do it is... This calls for, uh, let's see, where's the sugar? One quarter cup. So I put two tablespoons sugar in the yeast. The yeast isn't going to fail that way. And in here, I have one cup scalded milk. And in the scalded milk, I put uh, two tablespoons butter. Recently, I switched to butter. I think it's more nutritious. Uh, another thing is I think uh, you use less. So, okay, so now my, I put my, uh, I scalded my milk, I put my butter in there, and I put it in my big bowl to uh, cool it, and now I want to add the yeast and the sugar and the water, and it calls for a lot of salt, I mean a lot. It calls for five teaspoons, but I'm, I'm just having one teaspoon. That's a, a lot. Okay, so practically everything is added now except the flour. You know, once you make this 20 years, <laughs> okay, and then I just want to add the flour, and it's not messy the way I make it in these big bowls. Sometimes they use a big pan, any old kind of pan. Okay, and I finally came to this flour I buy at Walmart. I find it to be good. I like it. Um, you know, for if you're going to make bread, one time I took these crocheting lessons when I was young, and the teacher said, if you are going to crochet, if you are going to put all this effort into crocheting, use the best yarn. So did I listen to her? No, I bought my yarn at the thrift store. <laughs> and then, you know, I don't crochet anything, and then I donate it so some little old lady has yarn. So... But if I was going to make some project of any consequence, I would use, uh, I'm just adding the flour little by little. I would use the best yarn. So, you know, if you're going to invest in bread making, probably, you know, you know, get some good flour. Especially, you know, um, I was thinking about the stockpile. If this, this flour, is going to be your means of survival if this bread is going to be your means of survival and you see me use my uh stockpile last night i used my stockpile for a little meal i'm glad i had that food see how easy this is i think this good flour i think it might say pre pre sifted on here somewhere i'm not sure but see how my bread is mixing up to be such a nice loaf? The, I mean, the dough. This um, bread is well worth a couple extra. Um, the thing about this bread is you need milk, you need margarine. And uh, let's see, the other one you just... The thing that makes it a little bit more um, expensive is the milk. But once you stockpile milk, so I want to mention something. Okay, see how my dough is practically rising all by itself right here in the bowl? I don't know if you can see this. But this is like a good indication that your bread is, is going to be uh, good.
And so, um, you know, I'm copying the meal, the, the most expensive Thanksgiving meal in the entire world. Well, it turns out this is a lot easier. This meal is a lot easier than the meal I usually make. The meal I usually make uh, resembled the meal my grandmother would make. So, you know, of course it would be cheaper. But this is far from expensive, you know, especially if you get a good deal on the turkey, like I did. And I got a good turkey, too. Okay, so now it's starting to come together here. So I hope all of you are, are being festive. We're having a special uh, Thanksgiving because my um, son's girlfriend is coming over. Nice girl. Uh, I like her. We, we just have, uh, usually have the family only, you know. Um, all my life, um, I was usually uh, working all through the holidays. You know, as a hairdresser, that's your busy time. You know, you have to work and get all the ladies looking good. For uh, even Thanksgiving, you know, can be rather uh, busy because, you know, you people are going places. Okay, so I'm kneading, you can see I'm kneading right in my bowl. I grease my pan with some shortening I got out of the stock pile. So my canned milk, my shortening, uh, my flour, my yeast was all in the stockpile. So I will finish kneading this bread. I will put it in the pan, rise it one time, and bake it. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.